all right what's going on youtube in this video i'm going to be talking about a question that has been asked several times by my viewers and also a couple of my friends and now that question is is a hacking tosh really worth it so let's get to it so just to mention i have had a hacking tosh for just over six months and it has been running perfectly fine it has got the actual same speeds as the day i've actually built it so i can guarantee tell you that it's definitely working as the same day that i built it now just to mention which specs i have got i have got a core i5 3570k which is a unlocked processor which means i can overclock it to around 4 to 4.2 gigahertz and also i have got a 2 terabyte hard drive which is from Seagate this hard drive is 7200 rpm which means that it is running at the fastest speed which a hard drive can run at which definitely shows a sign in my boot speeds because when I boot up my Hackintosh it usually boots up within around 10 seconds max 15 seconds because now I've actually got programs which I have set to open up on startup so anyways let's move on so some people might ask what is a Hackintosh Basically what a Hackintosh is, it's a PC which allows you to run Mac OS X on it. Mac OS X is basically Apple's operating system and you're basically installing it onto a PC which is fully compatible as long as you've got the right hardware which I will go into more detail in the further upcoming minutes. Now the reason why you might want a Hackintosh, now the reason that I wanted it is because I already started YouTube like a year ago or but I wasn't really serious in it so once I did become like probably around I'll say six months ago when I actually got my Hackintosh when I built it and that was because I was making content but when I made it I was enjoying it but I don't think my audience was enjoying it that much because maybe I don't know it could have been because of the editing because I hardly knew how to edit then as well and I didn't have a machine that was capable of editing and that's why I actually built a Hackintosh and most of all it's because it runs Mac OS X that means I can run programs like Final Cut Pro, iMovie, GarageBand all those media kind of softwares now that obviously helps you I would actually say that a Mac is mainly for media production or music basically anything to do with media and as I want to do video production for YouTube I chose the Hackintosh route and that's because for several reasons which I will continue talking about so firstly I just want to mention about a Hackintosh now the Hackintosh is basically to this day and age a Hackintosh is basically exactly like a Mac the only thing is you're not using an Apple branded computer now the only thing between a Hackintosh and a real Mac I'll say is that the looks of it and the quality of it obviously because as you probably know Apple engineering is really good because if you actually look inside a Mac Pro or any Mac everything is so arranged you can't even see one cable in the Mac Pro that's how good arranged it is if that makes sense even though you have cable management in our PCs you still can see the cables inside the machine which is not that much of a problem anyway because you're not really going to be opening up your case to put it on show or anything although I have got a window on my Hackintosh I've actually got two blue LED fans which I have got reviews on on my channel and basically them two blue LED fans just make the computer look outstanding from the outside now again talking about the Hackintosh obviously as I said before a Hackintosh is a PC based system which runs Mac OS X now I just want to mention how powerful my Hackintosh is and basically why I like using OS X first of all I just want to mention as I do loads of video production I edit loads of videos you, you actually need quite a bit of power because you don't want to be slowing down and then your computer slows down then your computer crashes and all of that so basically as I said I got a Core i5 I'll say I've got outstanding performance and I say this because I'll just give you an example I can be editing a file in Final Cut Pro at the same time in the background I can be converting a video from MP4 to MOV which will make it a lot more easier to edit in Final Cut Pro and once I finish editing the video the converting will be already done so once that's done I basically import that file into Final Cut Pro and I just keep moving on until I export and upload the video so that's just like an overall kind of explanation uh, to show how powerful a hacking tosh can be and it can be much more I'll say probably 75% more powerful than what I've already got as I said I've got an i5 3570k 
That is basically the top of the range of the third generation Core i5 processors, but you can get i7s which are powerful and basically they can match up to Xeon processors if you overclock it and you've got the right cooling obviously. If you want to do something like that, you have to have the right specs for it, you have to have the right cooling, you have to make sure you do your research and research is another thing I'm going to come on to. So the Hackintoshes, just to mention stability stability is one thing that used to be a really big problem for hackintoshes but this was when snow leopard was out so just to mention that snow leopard was basically i'll say hackintoshes were basically rookie at that time meaning they were just freshly born if you want to call it in that way or whatever but as of now since the lion since lion was released there has not been any problems well there has been problems for some people there and there but as an overall i'll say since lion there's not been any problems and just to mention on my hackintosh i've actually i'm actually running osx mavericks on it right now and since the six months and over if it has been slightly over six months i have not had one panic kernel panic on it or not even one crash i'll say probably it might have froze here and there but it wasn't as in i had to reboot it was just like a one second crash split second basically that was when i was ed editing so it's not really a major problem anymore at all i'll say as long as you got the right hardware as long as you've done your research you've actually got a fully compatible osx machine the next thing i want to come on to is price i would just like to mention that my hackintosh cost me roughly around 500 pounds with the monitor which is a 27 inch acer monitor there will also be a unboxing and review on that of my channel so let me get to the price now. So as I just said, my Hackintosh cost overall around 500 pounds. Now I actually compared this to an iMac, which was in Apple with the similar range spec. So it's a 27 inch iMac, which also had a Core i5 processor, which was clocked to 3.2 gigahertz. Now just to mention, my Core i5 3570K was actually clocked at 3.4 gigahertz right out of the box. Now they say you can clock the iMac 3.2 gigahertz to 3.8, but I wouldn't really recommend that because if you actually seen the new IMAX, they are really, they say it's razor slim. So I think there will be slight cooling problem inside. Whereas my Core i5, I can actually overclock it to 4.2 gigahertz. And all I'll have to do is probably just upgrade on the cooling. And that's not a problem anymore because now Corsair have released these sort of water coolants, which you just put over your CPU and you just set up the radiators, put the two fans on and that's it done. So you can actually run 4.2 gigahertz for just adding an, another 60 pounds on top for the water coolant. I think it's around 60 to 80 pounds depending on which model you get. Also, it's got eight gigs of RAM. Now, I don't think I mentioned it before, but my Hackintosh has only got four gigs, which is not a problem. It's only a 20 pound upgrade to get eight gigs of RAM now because I've actually got four. So another four will cost around 20 pounds. It's got eight gigs. But now just to tell you the price of that iMac, which I will probably show somewhere here on the screen, it is £1,499. So just round it up, £1,500 compared to £500. It's, it's a big difference because an average user, well, I'll say I'm not professional, but I'll say I'm like the, I'll call it semi-pro at YouTubing now because I actually like uh, making content for my viewers now. So that's what I just want to say, 1,500 and 500 is a big difference. The only difference I'll say and the only reason why I'll say to go with the iMac is the looks of it and the quality and the engineering of it and one more thing apple care obviously if you build a hackintosh you will get your one year one year for probably each um product you bought your parts whereas with an apple mac if you buy it you get your apple care which means that you can take it to apple if you have any problems whatsoever so as i mentioned parts right now that is another thing i want to come on to so as you probably know the imac macbook pro they have all been engineered in a wonderful way and they all look really beautiful but then they do have their downsides to it although the mac pro is a upgradable computer desktop the thing is you're already paying around two thousand five hundred pounds to three thousand pounds or two thousand five hundred dollars whichever currency you prefer whatever country you're in but with a hackintosh 
you're actually getting your parts separate which means that you can actually spread out how you want to spend your money you can either spread it out that you want to buy a hard drive on this paycheck a motherboard on the next paycheck or whatever you can spread it out in the way that you feel more comfortable and which will be easy for you to afford or you can actually just save up all the money that you want and buy all the parts together whichever you want is the same thing as long as you don't take over around six months whereas new parts will come out and then the compatibility will become a problem so as i said on the max you cannot upgrade at all unless you have a mac pro which is going to start around three thousand pounds and as you probably know the new mac pro it is upgradable but it's very expensive just a baseline price i think it's around two thousand pounds or two thousand five hundred it's roughly around the two thousand mark that's quite a lot obviously it's for professional users but although if you want an upgradable computer I don't recommend a Mac at all but because I like tinkering with computers I actually want to upgrade my parts in the future that's why I went with the Hackintosh route because it's cheaper first of all you can upgrade the parts and also it's actually fully stable now and it's a fully running Mac as you can use iMessage and FaceTime now without any problems which just means it's basically a Mac if as people have shown they have actually built a Hackintosh into a power Mac G5 case so if somebody saw that and you was using a Hackintosh you would not know at all that it's not a real Mac again choice is another thing although you can run Windows on a Mac using parallels with if you build a Hackintosh you can run OS X first of all because that's the most the reason you built a Hackintosh you can run Windows which is fully compatible with any PC build and also you can run other operating systems like Linux and other operating systems that are out there so I just want to mention now if you want to build a Hackintosh if you are that person that likes tinkering with computers and you just you like that technology field then I do definitely recommend that you go in the Hackintosh route or even if you don't want OS X on it I recommend building a computer which will be Hackintosh compatible well Mac OS X compatible because in the future you might want to turn to Mac OS X for some sort of reason your computer or Hackintosh will be fully compatible with it if you are the person that don't like tinkering with computers at all whatsoever you just want to take it out of the box and that's it your computer is up and running just put the plug in and that's it then obviously you can go with the Apple Mac but then just remember the price tag is the main thing because for most people I think the price tag is the main thing and also if you want that obviously beautiful Apple engineering and looks of the Apple Mac then go with the Apple Mac overall it's your decision which one you want to go for so now for the hackintosh i just want to mention as i said before research research is really big thing about hackintoshes because even before i built mine i done around six to seven months of research because if you build a hackintosh you have to make sure every single part you buy will be compatible with OS X. nowadays gigabyte asus all of those companies they actually make motherboards which are basically fully compatible with mac OS X now so that's not a problem just make sure all your other parts will be compatible with OS X. and now if you want a link or source to where you can actually research this tony mac x86 is a really nice hackintosh forum they will help you out and they actually got custom builds which which you can actually copy and build from there if you need any help at all you can actually ask me or you can actually ask Tony Mac x86 there's a chat forum there as well so please check it out if you are interested in the Hackintosh route so now coming to a conclusion I actually definitely recommend going for a Hackintosh not only that it's going to be about OS X and just using Apple products and you're in that lockdown situation but I also recommend it in a way because I actually game I installed Windows on my Hackintosh and as I've got built in HD 4000 graphics from Intel's Core i5 processor I actually can play most games in around minimum settings obviously if it's a high end game like Call of Duty it will be in low settings but overall those standard games you can actually play them just off the onboard graphics but obviously you can if you want to spend that extra couple hundred pounds or not even a hundred it's around 150 pounds just on a good graphics card you would actually have a beast of a gaming machine and you'll also have a beast of a hackintosh all right so that's it for this video i just want to mention if you need any help at all whatsoever in the hackintosh world i'm here to help you just post me a message message me on facebook inbox me on 
uh, YouTube, message me on Twitter, whatever you want. If you want any help, just get in contact with me. And also, I just want to mention, I actually build computers for people. So if you are interested in a computer build, then please let me know. Now, if you have built a Hackintosh previously, feel free to leave your comments down below. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below, the like button. Don't forget to share this video. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe. And <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,